Hi, this is Eve Ewing, and I'm going to be reading a poem I wrote called I Saw Emmett Till This Week at the Grocery Store. Um, I wrote this poem in 2017 uh, on the anniversary of Emmett Till's murder, and it's inspired by a lot of things, um, one of which is a, a line from a poem by my friend Fatima Oscar in which she says, I wish them only a mundane life. And I got to thinking about um, what a radical demand that is uh, in the face of tremendous violence. The idea that somebody would have the right to just live out a regular, boring life. And I thought about the fact that Emmett Till um, is one of the most famous figures in American history and one of the most impactful figures in, Amer in American history. But it's because he was murdered so unjustly at such a young age. And so this poem imagines an alternate reality in which Emmett Till gets to just grow old and be boring and normal. Um, and I run into him at the grocery store. Uh, the poem is also um, very much part of the Afrofuturist strand of my work. A lot of my work is around reimagining time and space and um, kind of fuzzifying the boundaries between time and space as, as we usually understand them. So um, those are some of the themes of the poem, and I hope you enjoy it. I saw Emmett Till this week at the grocery store. Looking over the plums, one by one, lifting each to his eyes and turning it slowly, a little earth, checking the smooth skin for pockmarks and rot or signs of unkind days or people, then sliding them gently into the plastic, whistling softly, reaching with a slim woolen arm into the cart. He first balanced them over the wire before realizing the danger of bruising and lifting them back out, cradling them in the crook of his elbow until something harder could take that bottom space. I knew him from his hat, one of those fine pork pie numbers they used to sell on Roosevelt Road. It had lost its feather, but he had carefully folded a dollar bill and slid it between the ribbon and the felt, and it stood at attention. He wore his money. Upright and strong, he was already to the checkout by the time I caught up with him. I called out his name and he spun like a dancer, candy bar in hand, looked at me quizzically for a moment before remembering my face. He smiled. Well, hello, young lady. Hello, so chilly today. I should have worn my warm coat like you. Yes, so cool for August in Chicago. How are things going for you? Oh, he sighed and put the candy on the belt. It goes, it goes. Thank you so much. That poem is called, I Saw Emmett Till This Week at the Grocery Store. You can find it in my second collection of poems, 1919.